Yo, man, it's your boy Trans Lee, man, out here in the ATL, kicking it with Fame Magazine, man. I'm just a young kid out of Alabama, trying to get my dreams and my music heard to anybody that'll listen, man. I got a new project, Culture Junkie, dropping next month, so look out for that, man. Let's get it. I'm gonna get my story out to the masses, hands together like a praying mantis. Praying man is what she is after. Trans Lee is actually my name. I was named after my grandfather. I'm the third, so uh, that's my name, and like whenever I was thinking of what I wanted to go as, like my music is like a real, real life based music. So it's like, I want to go with my real name. Like what's, what's the real name to you? So Trans Lee ain't no, say no acting. I'm not like putting on for the camera, it's real life. My mother, my mother, and she actually passed away uh, a while, like a long time ago, back in 2001. So um, like every, every time I get in front of a microphone, every time I stand in front of a crowd, I'm doing this for her because, you know, she didn't necessarily, back when she passed away, I wasn't necessarily rapping, but, you know, she instilled in me that whatever I do, go 1,000 with it. So, you know, that that's why, you know, this path I chose, I gotta go 1,000 with it. So, that's my biggest inspiration. Lyrically, and then, I'm, I'm not even gassing myself. Lyrically, as far as what I talk about, the most I get compared to is Andre, Andre 3000. Sound wise, people try to compare me to Big Sean. I don't, I don't, I kind of hear it, but I don't really all the way hear it. I, I think I'm a little bit realer than Big Sean in my music. Like, I'm a fan of Big Sean, but I think I'm realer than Big Sean. So uh, I think that's what separates us. So, but if you can compare me to somebody, as far as what I talk about, I would definitely say Andre 3K. And that's what I'm shooting, like, to get to that level of just being vivid with my rhymes and painting those pictures that when people are listening, like they feel like they're right there with you. I love hip hop, man. Like I love where it's going because it's it's really making it easier to see talent. Like whenever you have, like people get upset whenever it's a lot of, I guess so-called garbage music that's coming through the, the pipeline. But you have to understand that it's a line like, most of the garbage music that you're saying is garbage is really just club music that people like to turn up to. And I like turning up too. Like when I go out and turn up, I like turning up. It's not necessarily music I listen to when I'm at home. I got my iPod going, but that that music is for that, and this music is for this. So it's like um, I'm I'm excited about what, what everybody's doing. Like as, as long as I'm focused on my lane and what I'm trying to do, like oh, I'm excited. I'm excited about what I got to bring to the table. So um, truthful. Energetic. You have to chop some of this. I ain't never been asked this. Uh, yeah, I bring, I bring, definitely the, I bring the noise. Truthful, <laughs> energetic, and lyrical. Expect nothing. And, and like, one thing I've learned just in my journey, especially here in Atlanta, like I've learned to expect nothing. Like when, if people say they're gonna do something, expect it not to happen but still work hard as if it's you know as if it's gonna happen or not gonna happen but just expect nothing take everything in stride um and and be humble whenever you know like if if, if somebody said they're gonna do something if they don't do it be prepared for it if they do do it be prepared for that so um that's one thing that i've, I've learned is to just work hard keep your head going keep your head up and just keep going so I learned. uh I really, I really just want to be an influence. Like I want to be a big influence. Like I want, whenever I speak, I want people to listen and I want people to hear my side of the story. Like I want people to, to understand where I'm coming from with certain issues. So um, really, it's influence, man. Like besides money, man, influence. This is my personal life. Like I don't, I don't know how to separate it because. Now it's almost getting to the point where like, believe it or not, like I be having fans in like, random places, like a bunch of places, like I go to a grocery store and now people will come up to me like, yo, I listen to your music. So that tells me like, I can't even just bust down the store and just wear a, a holy t-shirt and it look like shit no more. Becoming a big name in my city. In Huntsville, Alabama, that's where I'm from. Um, and shout out to, you know, my team, of course. Digital Native Culture, Chris Hunter, Ty Marshall. Um, but they helped me get to this point where I'm actually naming my city. Like, 
I, like I got fans in a lot of places, but to go home and to go to my hometown and to go to like my high school, shout out to part of my high school, um, go back to my high school and like people actually care like to the fact that I, people are running up to me like really excited to see me. And to me, that's an accomplishment because I remember when I left the high school, I was just a regular, a regular guy. So um, that's a big accomplishment. And, and to me, that goes back to having influence. And when I say stuff, they they listen. So you know, big accomplishment. Yeah, I'm 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 in a situation ship. Um, yeah, we yeah we just, we're gonna leave it at that, man. But I'm I'm you know I'm. I'm Definitely open to to a whole lot of things, man. Remember, you're on camera. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm on, I'm on camera, man. It's, it's all good, man. But no, nah, no, nah, really though, like it's it's one of those situations where we're good. Um, she understands what I do, and uh, we just down for each other, man. Like it's it's, it's no more than that. What are some words of encouragement you have for other artists trying to come up, or are the artists Quit. That are in your lane? Quit now. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I got to say. Don't don't do this. Quit. No, for real. I'm, I'm dead serious. Quit. Why? Elaborate. Quit. Why? Quit. <laughs> don't. Don't move forward. Quit. Why should they quit if it's their aspiration? You didn't quit. Well, so if they if they hear that and they don't quit, then they got what it takes. Mm, well, it's a reverse. Uh, psychology kind of thing. I'm feeling <laughs> it. Got the culture junkie shirts, uh, which I, I just gave you one. So, um, yeah, like this is the next project that I'm, I'm dropping soon. I said the month earlier. I don't know when this is gonna air, so it may by the time this get out, it may already be out. I don't know. So um, we're just gonna say summer 2014. So if, whenever you're hearing this, if it's summer 2014. Go to live mixtapes. Live mixtapes. Uh, no translate.com. My project will be on there. That's my website too. No translate.com. Um, Digital Native Culture is the company. Like I said, shout out to Chris Hunter, my manager. That's my manager, engineer, uh, homeboy, all that, man. We we like got like a dream, a goal to like really get our get our music heard. So, you know, that's that's what we on right now. Shout out to Todd Marshall, um, my producer, um, whole squad, man.